stop talking, Xatar. You shut the fuck. Yep, that's the intro. Awesome. Teriyaki chicken, SpongeBob! Oh my <laughs> That's actually pretty good, you know. What, my Patrick impression? Yeah. Everyone says yeah. that. It's just re- you just gotta like Ooh, it squeeze your voice. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, SpongeBob! Yeah, yeah. If you just can talk really low and then sound like you're really out of breath, because like, you know, like the more SpongeBob. breath you lose, it's like oh, you're running out of breath. <laughs> and then you just talk really low, it's like <laughs> Hi, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's like really breathy, I guess. Yeah, really, really breathy. Uh, welcome, ladies and gents, uh, to Ridercast episode four, I think. It's five. Is it episode? Is it? Episode, is uh, it? Four. It's, four. Like it's four. first step. It's four. Well, what? It's not. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's not possible. Yeah. The timeline is messed up. The I was actually going to say that because I just, I just like to say a huge thank you to everyone because this is now officially the longest podcast I've ever been on that's stuck. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> never been on a podcast that's made it past four episodes, so this is actually a huge award. So uh, thanks, boys. Crazy. Uh, no problem, uh, mate. Oh yeah, holy shit, it is four. We are joined with the trinamic trio. It's me, Bricks. It's Simfin. He is that. He he's pretty cool, I guess. Fuck um, you. Wh- what? <laughs> I, could, okay. I just said you're pretty yeah, cool. Oh, okay, cool, he's pretty cool. I know. Um, and then we have Exital. He's all right. No comment. Okay. <laughs> he exists. He's a so He's a furry. Yeah. You're fucking dad. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh, we are joined today with our very, very lovely special guest. We have Cybersonic Stars X six five five. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna call him Cyber, and uh, we're also joined with the Rearview Mirror. We're just gonna call him Rearview, if that's okay. What we are here to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, this was actually uh, Rearview's suggestion that we talk about Sonic spin-offs because uh, we're all, I mean, we all got brought together through Riders. I'd say, I'd say we, yeah, we all did. became friends yeah. with yes. Riders, and uh, we decided now was the be- was the best time to do it because uh, February twenty first, two thousand six. Uh, Riders was brought out in North America on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Nintendo GameCube. So, uh, in a couple weeks... And later, it, and later being ported to the PC that year. In a, a couple for, weeks, a couple weeks, it will be 15 years of Sonic Riders, which is fucking shit. crazy to think. That is actually crazy. And so we decided to uh, take a little trip down memory lane of all the uh, Sonic spin-offs, the good, the bad, and the horrific. Sound fun, guys? Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Let's get on with it. <laughs> I guess we talk about Riders first, I suppose. I mean, yeah, why not? Sure. Well, no, 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 no. Before Riders, what was the first Sonic spin-off? Actually, oh, do you want me to? Was, actually... it, was it like? Mm. So, was it Sonic Drift? Let me look it up. I feel like I, it was Sonic Drift because I did Sonic actually Sonic Eraser, look it up. maybe. Sonic Eraser, a falling block puzzle video game. Jesus. Fuck they made no. the, they made they made a spin-off before they even made the second game. It was released on Sega Mega Net, a Japan a Japan exclusive Mega Drive add-on that enabled players to download games via dial-up internet. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know what dial-up internet is, it's the fucking that fucking sound effect. That's fucking crazy! Holy shit! Ah, uh, the fire, iconic fire sound acid. effect. I've never played Sonic Eraser. Has anyone? No, never. Has anyone even tried? No. no. Does anyone still uh, have dial-up internet? A little in this bit. Day and age? I was a yeah, kid. I do. I have dial-up right now. Actually, it's pretty popular. Yeah, I mean, it, it, where you live, it's not surprising. I doubt Fuck y'all even you. have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh god, that's such a dead joke now. Sonic Riders, it exists, I guess. It what happens. is that game? Who made it? It's... Why? Did... <laughs> it certainly happened, didn't it? It's pretty interesting. How it's kind of dumb how it's 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 not interesting at all, actually. Because um, basically, some people pitched the idea to Sega, right? It was like Sonic, Tony Hawk, skateboards, controls on skateboards. <laughs> With the New York accent specifically. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then Sega was like, "Okay, we'll come back to you on it. It's fine. It's a great idea. We love it." And then, I mean, and then later on, they just don't call. They just don't call them back, and they make Sonic Riders. I mean, giving uh, Sega's track history with um, Sonic Three. Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 with uh, the snowboard- snowboarding thing. It kind of makes sense. It does, yeah, to oh, be yeah. honest. True. And it's a bit more unique than, say, going basically Sonic the Hedgehog's Pro Skater. Yeah. True. And it's definitely True, a bit more yeah. unique than Sonic Kart Racing, which they tried later on. <laughs> we can at least give them credit that they tried something a bit different. True. Like yeah. They tried to do yeah. Sonic X Wipeout, basically. And it kind of worked. I mean, it's Wait, Sonic X well Wipeout, to my knowledge. What? Wipeout. You never played Wipeout on the PS1? 
I never played it, but I watched the TV show. No, so no, it's out. not not the not oh, total wipeout oh, the wipe game show. I'm talking about oh, wipeout the video oh, no. game. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, total wipeout. Uh, Riders, throughout 2006, the game sold 930,000 copies. Now, judging 2006 when Sonic was big, quote unquote, I'm not sure if that counts as a success or not. It nearly sold a million. Uh, it's like, well, well it depends. How much? You also how much did Sonic 06 sell? Yeah, you also have to take into account maybe people are saving up for Sonic 06. And, and it's also arguable that Sonic's reputation was kind of starting to shake at this point. And also, um, the new consoles, you know, PS3 was new, Xbox was new back in the day, so yeah. like it's a new console and a new Sonic game that you want. So it's like... Yeah, because it was on all the... It wasn't, it wasn't an older... Oh, wait. Oh, it sold more than 06. What happened in 2006? Mm. 2006, we had... Sonic, Riders, the- Secret Rings, and Rush. All three are not particularly bad games. Yeah, not particularly also good. don't forget Sonic Rivals, and I yeah. think Sonic and the Secret Rings came out a few months into... Like, it like it came out sometimes 2007, actually. Oh, yeah. No, and no, also, wow. Secret Rings also, sold 83k. Oh, oh. Damn. And also Sonic 1 GBA, but uh, we don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> well, how much does Sonic <laughs> Rush sell? I mean, if we look at Riders as a whole. Actually, no, we can't look at Riders as a whole because then you have to give, you have to mark it down points for free Riders even existing. But if we look at Riders as Riders and ZG, it's not bad. It's not terrible. It at is all. bad. It is terrible. Mm, really, the game, painfully the game, mediocre. The game, I'd say it's slower than that one snail in Monsters University. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the only times the games felt bad was when you got so good that the AI that you're pretty much just halfway across the course of the AI it just becomes so easy for, with the computer AI that it gets kind of boring yeah I'd actually agree yeah. with that 100%. Yeah. they should have introduced like uh, different like uh, levels of AI I guess like hard AI like expert AI and stuff like that yeah. Honestly, I've seen others like I've seen others complain that the tutorial is, especially for the first game, wasn't exactly the greatest. Yeah, in it's not. certain aspects, yeah. like the, True. for example, the tutorial video being in the options menu for some reason. But I don't consider that necessarily its biggest flaw because once you, because eventually you are going to get good at the game, and once you do, it becomes kind of boring. That was like one of the their criticisms for. Uh, for the reviewers back in the day, and that's why the CG was the way it was, so sim- simplistic, because they were just um, responding to the criticism that was so complex. Was too many mechanics, too complicated, yeah. too hard to understand, too fast. But I yeah. feel like if they just did the tutorial right and explain everything well, it would have been fine, in my opinion, if they yeah. just did that. I mean, I remember yeah. watching like a 30-minute video essay, I think, on Riders back when I first got into it. It was like, Riders 1... Has such a high skill floor and they don't attempt to teach oh, you yeah. it. Zero gravity has such a low skill floor and they teach you everything. And it's yep. like they have all the different gears and all the different gears do different things in zero gravity in the same way as Riders One, but at the same time, the core mechanics are so easy to get to grips with because, I mean, one, it was on the Wii, so it had to be easy. The funny thing is, it's like um, the criticism they gave the first game was like, oh, it's too hard, and then the CG it's too easy. Exactly. That's really funny. I'm sorry, like, ZG was not yeah. too easy. I remember struggling so hard in Tempest Waterway as Storm, and I was like, hey, beat it in under this amount of time. I just couldn't. It was so oh, hard. It's just, it's just that Nate, uh, Nate Evan was like uh, looking stuff up, like criticism and stuff, like from the reviewers, and that's what the, always came up. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. what I've seen. Yeah. I've seen that a lot. People just saying that it's just too fucking easy. Even if someone were to play Vanilla Riders, which is what we call it, Sonic Riders, the way it was released to the public, and like try and learn all the gears what's the point there was no real multiplayer stuff in it to actually warrant getting used to all the gears and most of the time supersonic was the best gear in most of the games most of the courses anyway it also didn't help that there were those two unlockable robots that you had to play like 50 hours <laughs> for Bro, some reason that's... oh yeah no, the only way the only that. way you're going to get that 50 hours if you're a kid with 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 all the time in the world or you just speedrun the game which is what a lot of people did because right. like what cuz when you do get good it's like what else is there to do you play or like, if like, you ironically had online multiplayer man which w- 
which would have made it a lot more engaging that way. Exactly. But to be fair, we do criticize riders for having that mechanic in that you unlock characters after a certain amount of playtime. Melee did the same thing. Exactly the same thing. And no one seems to like complain about it there were certain characters that you had to like have 50 hours of fight time i think don't quote me on that i'll look it up and then put it on the screen what it actually was but there were definitely some characters that were playtime warranted if you get what i mean personally i don't think it's that big of an issue having like things locked behind playtime just leave the shit on for a little bit mm. make your electricity I mean, build i guess but it's not exactly my idea to leave a console on all day yep True. exactly it just depends on the amount of content the, uh, the game has if it keeps you busy for that amount of time then i guess it's fine to me yeah Which riders didn't do i finished i finished the first riders game in like like i finished finished it and this was recently in less than 15 hours when you say finish, is, finished it what does that mean do you did the story in, mode you did the i mission did mode. i did the story i did the missions all done and i got all the gears i suppose <laughs> at the end of the day it was not a great game yeah, I'd I'd say the ideas were really good, and the but the execution was poor at best. But paired with Unleashed, it's the Sonic game that I have the most happy memories playing. Like I remember yeah. when it first got announced, and I used to and I used to just stick on the Sega website hours on end, just watching the gameplay trailers and looking at all the photos and being like, "This looks fucking incredible." And the day I got it, I was so happy, and I set on my PS2 like immediately and played it. I was around my dad's house, and I was like, "No, I'm playing Sonic Riders, lads." Fuck your Easter egg hunt, I'm playing Sonic Riders. I'm grateful that it exists. I mean, yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, if it didn't exist, I wouldn't have met you lot. So, I mean... That's true. It's weird how... the exact really... same way. Yeah, that... Back in the day when I was a little kid, I was, like, renting the game, like, every week to get to unlock these characters. Like, yeah, I, was exactly. just that, I was just that obsessed with the game. I never played ZG as a kid. I only played the original Riders, and it wasn't... I didn't even play the original Riders that much. I only played it, like, a couple of times on those, like, you know, uh, multi type cds that had like many different games yeah. on it right? right i just played a little bit of sonic riders and then like randomly in, in the middle of 2015 or something i was like yo this game exists oh i remember this game and then i'm like yo this just fire dude i remember when i first got zero gravity as well because obviously i love sonic riders and then that got announced and i was even more excited for that because i was like oh my god now you get to go upside down and you get to go on the sides it's gonna be <laughs> fucking crazy and then marikai came along and did it better so i got my ps2 <laughs> copy and then I uh, came home, stuck it in my PS2. And then I got the uh, PlayStation 2 disc error screen. And I remember being oh, so no. shocked. And also being like, this isn't supposed to happen. This is a factory sealed <laughs> copy. Why is this happening? I just remember like going to my mom and being like, what's going on? I got it and I played it. And I was just like, yeah, it's good. But I prefer the first one. Like, I, I have never gone back and replayed Zero Gravity on my PS2, but I've played Riders through my PS2 very recently. I don't know, there's something about the first... Mm. There's, a, there's a charm to the first one that keeps me coming back, even though the music's objectively better on the second one, but we're not going to talk about that. I do like that every time you perform a gravity action, the music shifts. Yeah, that is fucking cool. Oh, yeah, that is yeah, that really... Yeah, that was a nice concept. That is really good. Yeah, it really makes you feel like something ridiculous is happening it's like what i mean but like unleashed werehog stages when you know you went into battle you know the dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love how we unleash the music shifts whenever there's battle stages well, i mean it forces <laughs> that one time when you do a double boost it's like plays fist bump Ugh. sonic riders the first game in 06 it's really ironic these two games were at like released at the same same time as well like the same year especially how uh sega went about it uh, for example, if they have a good idea and it doesn't do as well, they always do something else like later on. They don't try to do it do it again, but better. 2006, 2007 was probably the end of the kind of creative Sega that we, I think everyone came to know and love. Because I think, think about the games that came out, five, 2005, 6, 7, Sonic Rush, I didn't, actually no, Sonic Rush was received well. Sonic Riders, 06, and Secret Rings. I'd say they all fall victim to really good ideas and really terrible execution. Uh, like, don't forget Black Knight. Oh, yeah, and Black Knight. They just didn't know what to do with them, and they all fell... Well, I mean, they didn't fall yeah. flat on their face. Sonic Riders sold 900k, but... That, that I mean, was that's the most sold one in 2006. That's, that's kind of cool. That's actually crazy. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, wouldn't have really made a second one if it didn't do that. well, would they? 
True! And, of course, it helps to have a supplementary spin-off game. For, like, the main... For, like, the next big entry. If you haven't noticed, every Sonic Riders game was sort of a bit before a big entry. Sonic Riders... Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. ZG was before Sonic Unleashed. And free, even Free Riders, like, a week before was... Sonic a Colors. A week before Sonic Colors. Yeah! Oh, wow. Never thought I have no that. idea. That's kind of cool. When your spin-off, yeah, true. when you're when the first uh, variation of your spin-off racing game sells more than the game that you spent years building up to and being like, this is the reinvention of Sonic the Hedgehog, and then it turns out to be <laughs> Sonic 06. A very happy 15 years yeah. to Sonic Riders. Thank you for being well, Sonic there's, Spinball. Well, there's one more that we haven't talked about. Oh, oh no. and that's the and that's the Forbidden Sonic game, Free Riders. Oh, yeah, we didn't oh, yeah let's show gimmick. Free Riders as a concept controls. is so cool. I love the gear designs. I love the switch mechanic. I, 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 I love the fact Metal Sonic's in there. And ah, fuck, I love the fact that Hybus is in the game as well. Auto Slider is a bike, and they made it a bicycle. Fuck Auto. <laughs> I hate that biker. It has pedals. <laughs> they ruined such a cool looking gear. The biggest uh, mechanic that I like in Freeride is where you can just customize your gear, like choosing your gear parts. True. Oh. Yeah. With, like, with, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Before yeah, each race, you can you have two gear p for board gears. You have two gear parts that you can equip, and with these gear parts, you can switch to either goofy and regular style and when you're like in goofy style this gear part's active and you're in regular style this gear part's active and the other one deactivates and oh. you get the idea that's pretty much the sole unique mechanic of the game outside of the connect controls but that's, that's also the light ZG. that's also that like kills the meta kind of because you just pick like one good gear that has good base stats and that's the only way you play with like all the other gear parts yeah Another it's a feature cool mechanic, you probably yeah. like to see return from free riders is actually the online multiplayer <laughs> mm. well, yeah, of course of course or at least the online multiplayer feature in of itself yep. yeah like just playing with other people but to do that with the actual sonic free riders you need the Xbox game, I think the Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Live. I, yeah, I believe that's what it is. You need Xbox Live. Otherwise, you can't actually play with anyone. You can view oh, online leaderboards but, and that yeah. sort of thing, but you can't actually play online with anyone. I'm not blaming Sega on that because, well, that was a Microsoft service and it was nice of them to incorporate it in the first place. Because I think like the way that works is like I think all the multiplayer games on Xbox require... Uh, the Xbox Gold membership for you to actually like use multiplayer. Yeah, they do. Uh, they're all you have to pay for online unless the game is free. I remember the first announcement for uh, Free Riders, and I knew it was Connect, and I still thought How it was, you know really... was Connect. Um, because the f announcement trailer showed people jumping. Yeah, because it was whole shtick, wasn't it? That it was like, next, so they had to sell uh, that. I thought it was like, more. I thought it was more of an instinct sort of thing. Like, I have a feeling it's going to be a yeah. Game. I have a feeling it's going to be a it's Connect that. exclusive game <laughs> on the Xbox 360. I was still sold on it. I was really looking forward to it because obviously I was dumb. I didn't know um, how bad Connect was going to be, um, and so I was really excited to like. I'm actually going to be there. I'm going to be doing it, and then I got to try out Connect with Connect Adventures, which was essentially their Wii Sports what oh, they shipped yeah. with it and connect adventures was fun but it showed off that connect didn't work really not in the way that it needed to work for it to work with free riders and then when i eventually got free riders i was bored i just thought this is just boring because as usual with a sonic game what's good about it okay the boards are good the riders uh, not the visuals are good sorry everything else in my opinion is dull and boring even the music even the courses, the level, yeah, yeah. Well, you could actually. Well, the game actually has a custom soundtrack feature with Xbox 360 games. Certain Xbox 360 games have a custom soundtrack feature, where outside of the opening, you can actually because it's pre-rendered, you can actually replace all the in-game audio with your own song from either a USB or internal memory. Damn, that's fucking mm. cool. That probably would fix one of my issues with the game, and obviously the controls. Because uh, if Connect yeah. worked, oh. it would be good. 
but Connect doesn't yep, work, yeah. so it's not great. A game that uh, an aspect that surprised me was actually the Metal City stages returning. Well, the Metal City yeah. stage itself yeah. with an expert yeah. variant. It's I so cool. I wasn't expecting that because they fundamentally just HD remastered the first stage, and it was a pretty neat thing, actually. It does yeah, look fucking because cool. I was not expecting that. Crazy to think how different the reception of that game would have been if there was controller support. If it was a regular game and it had Kinect compatibility, it it probably would have got mixed reviews because it was a Riders game, and I think pretty much I think every entry in them did get mixed reviews. But yes. yeah, we wouldn't yeah. be sat here talking about it as much as we are now if it had controller support. We never would. True, like. Because it yeah. would have just been another Riders game. We would probably have a lot more critically to say about it, but the reason why we don't is because for the majority of it, it's not unplayable, but as close to unplayable as it can get. For what it's worth, once you know what you are doing with the game, you actually can have... It can actually be a decent exercise if you want to take anything away from it. Oh yeah, of course. And of course it has some bangers too. Doubt. One of my least, one as of my least favorite OSTs. But of course, I can respect your opinion. I just don't. As some bangers, not all of them. True. I it's... just don't like free. Oh free yeah, sucks. Bro. I agree. Hey. <laughs> not even the Crush Forty version can save free. And if Crush Forty can't save it, it can't be saved. Yes. For real. It's yes, fucked. Yeah. And I loved Sonic Music as a kid. Like it was one of, as with most people, it was one of my favorite things about it. But when free was brought out before the game was released i think it was the first sonic track i listened to and i was like you know what i don't fuck with this sonic free riders lads that happened didn't it that was weird mm. what a weird situation True. that happened in our lives yeah. it's not by any means the worst thing i've ever played but i don't know if adding controller support to it as is would help it necessarily because mostly because in my mind the level design it's a lot more straightforward it doesn't have as yeah. many curves and twists and would be kind of dull in the setting with a controller. I've always been with the mindset that you give free riders controller support. That doesn't make it any better. It makes it playable. Doesn't make it any better because I think free riders is just the most boring riders game. I mean, we've spent a yeah. hell of a long time talking about riders. That's true. Yes. We should probably wish, change up to a different. I one. wish we really appreciated it, like uh, that decade of when the last Sonic games released and stuff with a lot of the ideas. In my opinion, it's yeah. just a decade. Best decade yeah. of Sonic games. Yeah. yeah. Compared to but now, now what do we have? We have... It's, 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 it's been four years since Forces. And the only thing that came out Sonic really was Team Sonic Racing. Fuck that game. That game doesn't exist to me. Good, se good segue. Let's talk about um, All-Stars the, the, Racing. The, the kart the racing. Kart All-Stars Racing. All -Stars racing. All -Stars right, the racing. first one, I, I love the first two. Transformed yeah, is my favorite spinoff of, of, like, my favorite Sonic spinoff of all time. It's so yeah, they good. really they really picked that yeah uh, 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 why, why did they why did why did they do that to, to to team Sonic racing it's like they removed the speed they removed the dynamic stages the only redeeming factor of that game is the music I mean team Sonic racing was announced off of the success of all stars racing series but I don't think it's not part of the all stars racing series because obviously say all stars racing is part of the Sega superstar series I guess which technically started with Sega yes. Superstars on no Sega Superstars on the PS2 yeah. with the iToy. What? That's yeah. crazy. In 2004, yeah. yeah. 2004, mm. yeah. Because I remember when Team Sonic Racing was first hinted at, and they showed the silhouetted logo, and it had the R from Sonic R, and everyone flipped their shit, being like, "Okay, this is either <laughs> Sonic and Sonic All Stars Racing 3." Which had been so long since Transform. When was Transform? 2012. 2012. Yeah. 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 And everyone flipped out, and then it turned out to be what it was, and it was just so mediocre, sad. Yeah, my only experience of playing Team Sonic Racing was at an Xbox One stall in a cinema after watching the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and I was with my buddy, and he, and I was like, hey, "Team Sonic Racing's on that fucking stall. Why don't we give that a try? You know, we we enjoyed the first one, and the, and he was like, "Sure." And so we played it, and we were just like, "Where's the f fun?" <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> It's, it's gone. It's somewhere and it's not here. <laughs> like, it's fucking boring, mate. <laughs> Definitely it's not in this game. It's also funny it's that they behind got... the TV. <laughs> you made it's, movie. <laughs> it's also it's funny. You just see it uh, 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 like, transform behind it. It's also funny that they also like use some mechanics of the of the first Riders games, like uh, the multiple types and then yeah. the 
the slipstream thing, like for example, it's like uh, the uh, turbulence. Yeah. yeah, you're like behind someone and then you go fast. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, when that first got announced, I didn't see it coming whatsoever. And obviously, I am guilty to the fact that I've never played a Sega property other than Sonic. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck are all these other characters racing alongside Sonic, <laughs> Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow? I don't like this. Get these oh, out of here. Football manager! Football manager! Football Football manager. manager. Banjo Kazooie in my Sega game? Why? That was weird. They, the Xbox 360, <laughs> oh, the Xbox 360 yeah, version, the Xbox of course. 360 version specifically had Banjo Kazooie, and I was like, "Why?" And then in Transform, they had TF2 and Wreck It Ralph. Oh yeah, fucking yeah. Wreck It Ralph in Sonic All Stars <laughs> Racing Transformed. Oh yeah, and Danica Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danica, Patrick. Danica Patrick. Why was Danica Patrick in that game? Why? Oh, yeah. I don't I understand. There were so many unexplained things that happened. How did they True. get the license from Disney to use Wreck It Ralph? Speaking of Sega, SST. Sup- Sega, Sega Superstars, Superstars Tennis. Tennis. Really yeah. good. It was all I, right. It is. Man, we tried to make a <laughs> thing out of that. <laughs> Yeah. That existed. Honestly, but that game on its own, even even so, is so fun, man. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, that's it. That's that's there's actually so like yeah. there's, there's such untapped depth in that game. God, it annoys me because the online and the dolphin it barely functions with SST and it's like Yeah. Man. It's terrible. That was that was like our only problem. Like we would have like, you know, taken that fucking game to like different heights, bro, I'm telling you, but like Genuinely. Dolphin just fucked us over mad. Basically, the, the long story short for the people who don't know is we tried with a buddy of ours, Sigma. Shout out Sigma, he's a real lad. We Oops. tried to make a Sega Superstars Tennis Tournament Edition in the same way that they did Sonic Riders Tournament Edition. We, we were gonna take the game and rebalance it and make the online easy, but we online multiplayer is atrocious when you emulate it. And so the entire thing just yeah. fell through. If it was on GameCube, bro, we would have fucking been working on that shit to this day. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. Hmm. And also the issue was, man, we only we got four player working once. We did. A maximum yeah. time of once. And it was so, it was so fun. It, it was, was so fun. so good. Literally. Oh, my God, bro. That was the only online game of Sega Superstar Tennis I have played and the only online game of Sega Superstar Tennis I will ever play. Yeah, Sega Superstar Tennis wasn't bad. Again, it wasn't it great, good, yeah. but in terms of ten, I mean, it definitely wasn't a Mario Tennis, but it was a really <laughs> good attempt. I don't understand why they attempted tennis first for the Sega Superstar series, other than the PS2 original. Why they didn't well, just go straight into racing? There was also racing. that Rockstar table tennis game. Oh, yeah. Like, table tennis game by Rockstar, you know, the Grand Theft Auto developers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They really had their hearts set on tennis, didn't they? Sonic fighting games. <laughs> Sonic Battle and Sonic, Sonic Fighters. The fucking fighters. <laughs> I but like like Sonic Battle though. Oh okay. I have yes. this written. I have a list of the ones that I wanted to talk about, and I have Battle uh, highlighted, bold, and bigger than everything else in the list of the games that I have the highest memory of. It's probably third to Riders and Unleashed. I adore Sonic Battle. It is really cool to it's be honest. So good. And obviously I'm looking for it with rose colored glasses. If I were to get a GBA emulator and play it now, I think I'd uh, probably feel a lot different. But looking back on it now, you know the storyline with Emel, it's not bad. It's it's quite unique. They have to teach the fucking robot how to fight and then you collect those battle cards which have all the different characters moves on it and then you can program Emel into literally your perfect fucking fighter with Shadow's special and Sonic's jump and Eggman's run and all that shit. It's fucking dope. A super fighting robot. Literally a super fighting robot. I fucking love that game, man. I never managed to complete it. I never got past Knuckles. Neither did I! I never got past Knuckles! That fucking Yeah, I don't think think many people realized you could abuse the special, like the ground shoot special emerald had that didn't really shoot out anything but yeah would hurt oh yeah you have to the opponent because i remember after every um battle in the story mode you unlocked a new card basically the background when you when the card is revealed if it's green it's normal and every time it flashed green i was like oh, okay it's just a normal card and i might get a duplicate <laughs> but when it flashed <laughs> a light kind of blue me. when it flashed light blue and i was like Fuck, it's a special card. Let's fucking go. And it was like a really <laughs> cool, like, and it just turned out to be like Amy's Pico Pico Hammer. And I was like, all right. And then obviously, yeah. uh, 
Sonic the Fighters, which happened way, way before that, which I think the Shout only time I only time I played it is Sonic Gems Collection on the GameCube. The only time I've, I've, never, I've never played it in my entire life. I've never touched it. I have it on PS3. Isn't the PS3 version like the best version? Yeah, probably. It's optimized. I imagine. Not because of that, yes, what? content. Oh, that PS3 version, I see. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought you said PSP for a second. <laughs> Sonic the Fire's on PSP. Speaking of PSP, yeah. Sonic Rivals. Sonic Rivals. That is a weird one. That I is like always, Rivals. It's mm. always the one that I forget exists. But again, I remember when... Because it was in the same time frame as Riders, and I remember when that got announced, and I was like, fuck, there's another Sonic Racing game, but it's running this time. The one that It's the one that makes sense, because they're running, <laughs> because they're actually really fast. It also fast. has online multiplayer. also has online yeah. multiplayer. And I remember being yeah. so jealous, because um, I was a DS kid, and my brother was a PSP kid, and I kept begging him to get Rivals. But he didn't. My, my friend gave me the first game for free, and I bought the second one. Yo! We played together. I have Rivals 2 on my Vita. I know nothing about Rivals 2, except it spawned what is, in my opinion, the worst Sonic song, Race to Win. Don't at me. <laughs> race <laughs> to Win is annoying, to be fair. I hate Monotonous. Race to Win. Both of the Rivals games are also, also one of the most dumbest plots. True. Wasn't that Eggman Neo? Or was it Eggman <laughs> Mega? Mega. No, yeah. just they try to fight with each other for no reason. They don't want to <laughs> yeah. work together. Until, like, the end of the game, so dumb. Also, it excited me seeing Silver in the box art for Rivals, because I was like, I really liked Silver in 06. Even when I was a kid, I still really liked Silver as a character, and I was like, fuck, they're going to start putting him in more things now. He's going to be a yeah. really huge part of the community, and then he just becomes a Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Games side character. Well, excluding 06, that's, like, his first appearance, really. I suppose from Silver being a uh, side character in most Sonic franchises, we move on to... Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, if we can count this as a Sonic spin-off. <laughs> it is a, definitely a spin-off. It's it a is. crossover type. Mario and spin-off. Sonic spin-off. <laughs> yeah, it's a Mario and Sonic spin-off. Um, it's their spin-off. It's not I mean, it, bad. I love the, it. It's cool. The one, I only like uh, the second one, the Winter Olympic Games. Like, that is my favorite. It's just so good. It's not. It's just not even funny. Absolutely agreed. 100%. I remember playing Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I was excited because, oh, because I grew up with the GameCube and alongside Sonic, I grew up with Mario and pretty much all his various escapades. And Mario did a lot, really, in RPG parties and kart racers. Yeah. Aside from the expected platformer. And I was a little bit mixed at first because I was expecting a bit, I think a lot of people. Honestly, we're expecting a bit more epic, n- not a <laughs> not a Olympic compilation. I only ever played the 2008 one, so the very first one. That's the one I remember the most, and it's like I remember seeing the the 2012 one. I remember really wanting it because I had a yellow box. But <laughs> other than that, like I've not touched anything else apart from the 2008 one. I play the newer ones only. You play only play the newer ones. Yeah, you I, are missing the fuck I out. I was actually planning on playing Winter Games because I've heard like it's like a really, uh, really good one in the series. Mm. But uh, yeah, the 2008 one was also fun. It's right. It was yeah. yeah. It's, it's so, so fucking good, man. I yeah. remember playing the Dream Races with with my dad. And oh fuck yeah, the Dream it, it Races are so fire. The, 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 I, I like the whole gimmick of like the of the Olympic Games crossover. It's like the dream shit. It's that that's what you go for. The dream. Yeah, shit. that is it's literally like, what you go for. And I think so Sega cool. Sega even like subtly acknowledged it at, at, towards the end of the series they were like okay we know you come for the dream events so we're gonna stick a hell of a lot more in 2012 <laughs> and then they just quit them i mean i, I think I've they said quit this, them well i i don't remember don't quote me on this but i don't think there's any dream events in the reboot on the switch I'm not sure though mm, yeah there's 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 dream events i think oh, there's there? uh yeah, there was a stage from Forces in it. They saw that. Never mind, oh, yeah. I shut my mouth. I think I've said this for every spin-off so far, but again, I remember when the intro cutscene was first revealed, because they always used to reveal them. They always used to put out the intro cutscene as a reveal trailer, and I was like, fuck. Because everyone went, fuck, didn't they? It was Mario and Sonic. They were literally rivals from the very beginning, and then to see them together, and I agree with Rearview in that I thought that there was going to be so much more scale to what it was, and then it did turn out to just be... A minigame collection, although there, w- there was a story mode on the DS version of Winter Games, if anyone played it. 
And I it was, remember it was watching right. Kobe, Kobe play. They like always have a story mode. The game was fun in its own right, just in, a bit underwhelming in terms of expectations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is yeah. still a quality, particularly the first and second ones. There's still a quality selection of mini games. I definitely choose to play them. Any, I, w- I wouldn't play them any less than I play Mario Party or like Wii Party. But um, <laughs> the only bad memory I have is the DS port of the Beijing one where in the running, um, like a 100 meter sprint, obviously for the Wii version, you've got to just fucking waggle the Wii remote and nunchuck. But for the DS version, you have to fucking <laughs> scrape your stylus left and right over the bottom screen as oh, hard yeah, as I you can, that. as fast as you can. It ruins the screen. If you didn't oh, have a shit. screen protector on your DS, you were fucked. I do wish they would make a return to form because I played the Switch reboot at a convention two years ago, I think it was, tw- yeah, it was um 2019 before it came out, and I was just so underwhelmed, even with the graphics, even with the new motion controls that are supposed to be better now that they're Joy-Cons. And I just, me and my friend just felt so just, it was just boring. We just weren't interested in it, so I, I didn't end up buying it on the Switch, but hopefully someday they make a return to form, although part of me thinks that there's been too many entries for that to ever happen. I can't wait until Sega's announcement for Sonic, but... I'm also, my expectations are lower than my granddad. Well, damn. damn. What, why so, lower than your yeah. granddad specifically? Because he's six what? feet under. Damn. Damn. <laughs> well, shit. They had like four years to make this game, whatever the hell it is. If it's not good, it's like, it has to be, it has to be great at this point. It can't be decent yeah. or like bad. If it's one of those two, it's just, it's just it not at that point. Genius. Yeah. Not to mention the change in voice, uh, changing a certain voice actor. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! I know oh, yeah. we were going to end Damn. up talking about this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I saw um, one of our friends talk about a Sonic voice actor in the writer's chat, and I this was yesterday, and I just dismissed it as nothing. I thought people were just arguing, as they always do, about who's the best Sonic voice actor. And then I saw Roger Craig Smith's tweet on Twitter a couple hours later, and I was like, no fucking way of all the things i expected to happen within that camp i did not think roger craig smith would be leaving um that's even if he was leaving he might have been kicked out who knows yeah it's unclear on that front well voice actors have a contract don't they they sign a contract and by when when it's done it's done it's like yeah he he, he probably wasn't fired or not, ne- neither did he leave. He probably signed a contract when Colors came out. I mean, I don't know. It, they're not going to bring Ben Schwartz, who's the voice for the Sonic He's very, in the film. If I think, w- what's the reasons for that? Was it, is it, I don't know. Um, I heard people Too arguing. Expensive. He's like, yeah, he's, man's, man's expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Man's, man's going to be fucking expensive. It, Sonic yeah. wasn't his own, Sonic's not his only gig. At the very Ooh. least, he's got the, he voices one of the ducks in DuckTales. <laughs> He That's does. where the real money comes in. <laughs> mm. um, I think he'll still be voicing um, Sonic in Sonic 2021, whatever oh, that ends up he... being. Oh, yeah, probably. You think Ben Schwartz is going to be Sonic 2021? That's even if Sonic 2021's a new game. Sonic 2021, oh. for all we fucking know, could be Adventure Remasters or something oh. else Remasters, which, in fact, I'm putting my money yeah. on it's going to be that. No. Based on the success, based on the, based on the huge success compared to the little effort Nintendo put in for the 3D Mario All-Stars. I think it's guaranteed it's going to be some sort of remaster. Oh, or I really co- darn wanted or a, a gems Mario, collection. please. I think they should play it safe. They should either release a a sequel to Mania, right? Or an actual mm-hmm. sequel to Sonic 3. Or, <laughs> actually, no, no. They no. did do they that. Should, they should, they should do that. They should do that. Oh. Oh, fuck you, Sonic 4 wasn't real. As much as I love those two games, they're not true. They're not true sequels. Like, didn't you guys hear about the other news? No. The, the, um, news. the writers of uh, uh, like the Pontaf is leaving. Whatever the hell. The writers like, of the what? Guys, the writers that have made Sonic Colors, Generations, Forces. <laughs> <and DC. laughs> God, they're leaving. They've been yeah. so distraught. You no, no, I'm not distraught. It. I'm not distraught. I'm so happy. This they sucked so hard. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> that made that made sound like the way it is. They're yo, also yo, leaving. We, apparently, we, we about to get like Ian Flynn on this. We about to get the IDW writers. No if fucking chance. We do. Chance. Oh my no god! Be, what are you talking about? We've gone way too Imagine, far for that to though. ever happen. Like, the only time I think that could have happened is in the 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 gap period between 
colors and whatever came before that if ian flynn had come on then the the sonic timeline is over because they tried it once didn't they they did adventure adventure 2 heroes and shadow the hedgehog those games are objectively interconnected and they're not going to do that shit again are they never because they, no, they, with... they should they should they Oh, I agree that if they we should. Do get, that... If we do get the IDW writers, I swear, I swear to God, I will cut off my left nut. I, they, I, <laughs> I want it so bad. Oh, oh my God, this guy. Really I voice. think everyone wants it, but like, damn, chill, chill. Most Sonic games can actually just fit in perfectly if you really think about it. But there's only some that can't, like yeah. Chronicles. Sonic Chronicles, that happened? Holy fuck. I was thinking about it, whether I should bring it up or not. It was alright. Mm. I never happened. played it. I never touched it. I've got one more that I am shocked that no one else has brought up, but carrying on Sonic games with a dark undertone, let's talk Shadow the Hedgehog, boys. Oh, my <laughs> oh boy. I, never, I, I can't say much now. I've never touched it. It's as close to a spin-off a mainline Sonic entry can get, because I, I, I'm classing Shadow the Hedgehog a mainline Sonic entry because it directly continues the story. It, it is a... It, yeah, it's Heroes. definitely mainline. In a, in a way, if I had to compare the Shadow he the Hedgehog to any Mario game, it arguably would be Luigi's Mansion in terms of certain things, like it features a different main character, features unconventional gameplay... Features a much different tone than the other games. Yeah. And was kind of a big... It was kind of brought up as a big deal. Like, Luigi's Mansion was a launch title for the GameCube. Symphon, you've never played Shadow of a Hedgehog? Never touched it. I've heard such shit things about it. I don't think I want to. Uh... It's actually pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. I'd say I'm so. Like, okay. Were you playing it more? You really played it, didn't you, XO? How far did you get through the story mode, XO? Uh, okay, well, I remember uh, I... I think I I forgot, but I completed the story mode. Then there was this uh, this like uh, the path where you go on like the arc with like Maria, and then you had to like find like forty soldiers or something and like fucking kill them. I guess <laughs> we spent like fifty minutes on that stage. That stage is fucking uh, crazy. I think I remember them. I think I know the mission you're talking about. Yeah, so do I. I enjoyed it. I mean the. Ending where fucking Shadow kills Eggman is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're going straight to hell. <laughs> like, that, that shit becomes a meme. Wait, so he yeah. actually straight up just murked him? Like, in that ending? Yeah. 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 Straight pretty up. much. I think he says, This is the end for you, Dr. Eggman. I think he's with Omega as well. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, because Omega wants to destroy him as well. Yeah, he says, Goodbye, Doctor. And then he, and yeah. then he's like, Go! And then there's a pun. Yeah, then there's like a whack sound effect. It goes black and he's like, No! Yeah. In the Mike Pollock voice. Wait, so what's the true um, ending of... What's the canon ending of Shadow of a Hedgehog? Generally, the canon ending is after you've pretty much beaten all the other endings, and you will be presented with a final story prompt that leads into the final sequence of events. Is it with the boss fight with Black Doom as Super Shadow? Well, after a stage, then you get to the boss okay fight. okay like the idea the game was made for was sort of exploring the idea of good and bad with shadow the hedgehog and they want to explore that that's mm. kind of and they explore that with what if scenarios and loosely connected events how did we get here we were talking about the true ending of shadow the hedgehog yeah why are we talking about shadow um, it's not shadow off. the hedgehog the spin-off who is shadow <laughs> Shut the fuck i don't know up. what's a hedgehog kid who are you? I really... Who am I? <laughs> 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 this is what I, I am. Cut, it ties in with the Sega having brilliant ideas and just not being able to execute them very well because yeah. the idea of being able to choose three different pathways in each level or depending on the way you play is, is a really, really fucking good idea and it makes for a really complex game. Like, while we were talking about the true ending, I looked up and because of the there's so many different levels... There are a total of 326 different endings in yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Not different ending cutscenes, but depending on your specific choice of level, each ending has a different name, and it's fucking brilliant because, like, they put so much effort into creating something different that had never been done in a Sonic game before. It sort of is like you're telling your own little story, almost. Exactly. Like, you see the cutscenes, and then you kind of imagine, like... What caused Shadow to do th such and such? Like, you kind of just imagine it. I played through Shadow the Hedgehog recently, and I I've been doing this thing where I keep trying to play through the Sonic games that I used to love as a kid, 
with an objective mindset at the age I am now. And I still think that the first stage of Shadow the Hedgehog is so bold and in your fucking face with what it tries to accomplish is that you f- you come through to see Sonic and then he's like, let's kill the aliens. And then you meet Black Doom and he's like, let's kill the uh, humans. And it's like, the fact that you actually get that choice, again, again, it was never done in a Sonic game. It takes like 100 hours to complete by a speedrunner. 100 like hours for a 100% yeah, was, speed run? Yes, it was a sick it was oh. a segmented speed run. Has anyone got any others like randomly they just want to uh, briefly list mean off? Mean Bean Machine, I guess. Mm. Oh yeah, Mean Bean Machine. Oh yeah, the Knuckles and Chaotix. Mean Bean Wait. Machine. Yeah. <clears throat> Knuckles Chaotix, yeah. Oh my god. We we missed like one big fish in the pond and that's like boom. Oh my god. Oh, I was oh good. my yeah. god. It is a I spin-off, shit. isn't it? Let me yes, just go ahead and say that Sonic, the 3DS games weren't bad. As, like, I think okay, Shadow, right. Shadow Crystal is all right. Fire and Ice is fuck. Oh my god, that's a, that's a good game. Like that ass, yeah, that's a good, yeah, that that's one. a good ass game. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, I think I think Boom is good now. I think Boom's good. I think I like it. I think it's cool. I'd say that Rise of Lyric was fine. Just that. Uh, it's just it, I just didn't appreciate that it took a lo- while to de- defeat the enemies with so few combat. Yeah, the combat yeah, wasn't very real. fleshed out, was it? I think the story was like way too non-linear. I guess because I remember I got stuck in like like one of the places. Cause I was like, I had no idea where the fuck I was supposed to go, and I kept looking around for like thirty minutes. Yeah, I, I think I've seen one of the problems. I've seen so many Let's Players have the exact same problem. It's not that it's not built well. Actually, it's no, it's not built well because they've got the Knuckles jump glitch. <laughs> where you can just jump, pause, jump, pause, yeah. jump, pause, and then you can just lit. And they patched that out. Yeah, that's the issue because they sent it to creators on YouTube before they patched it out, and so people like Game Grumps specifically, because that's the let's play. That's the let's play I watched of it. They just exploited it the whole time, and obviously Game Grumps didn't really care about giving Sonic a bad reputation because Game Grumps' thing is giving Sonic a bad reputation. So <laughs> I could imagine that the amount of bad reviews that game got specifically because of creators exploiting the glitch. There was also the matter of expectations with so- with this. Like p- some people were a bit hopeful that this was being developed by by ex Naughty Dog well, employees. So they were like, "Oh, uh, the, the, Naughty Dog, they made Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Dexter. Yeah, I'm sure they'll make something great here." <laughs> no, it's like Sonic back then with colors, generations, and Lost World wasn't a good place. Like Sonic, Lost World was like mixed, but you know Sonic was still in a good place. Sonic just, Lost World is just is a good game, and I will stand by that. That's why I know Sonic wasn't. Sonic and Sega also racing transformed as well. So really was a really great game. So just boom ha- happening after that just was I not think, good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of Sonic fans would uh, rather go back to that period than be in the period we are now. Yeah. Like, like everyone real. everyone yeah. was so hopeful about Sonic because Sonic was actually really coming back. Yeah, I, I really like the Boom TV show now. As cringe as it is at some points, they're it's willing to... written. Exactly, it's decently written. They're willing to take the piss out of themselves and they're willing to take the piss out of Sonic fans as well, and that's what I really, really enjoy Shout about it. Shout out to Chris Chan. Yeah. Boom. I mean, is Sonic Boom still going? Are they still making new episodes? I thought it was... Well, no, Roger's uh, gone now, isn't it? Yeah, but you know I what I mean. I don't think they've been making them. But, uh, fucking... I, I loved that one scene with Knuckles and that's feminism. Right. It was so funny. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I can't be a feminist. Um, My closing statement Wait. is... uh. The only other spin-off that we haven't talked about. I'm going to briefly touch on it in a sentence. Sonic R, good. I agree. Sonic yeah. R music, brilliant. I also agree with yes. that. 100%. Bangers. Bangers. Um, fun. Absolute bangers. To be that vocalist, to have that award, not that award, but to have that on your name being like, I sung the songs on the Sonic R score and fucking what? Don't talk shit on my name. And she's actually really, <laughs> really really good singer like i ended up looking up trying to see if there are any live performances from the actual vocalist and she did can you feel the sunshine in 2008 at a sonic convention it's almost identical to the original she has got a lovely set of lungs on her <laughs> quite, that's quite the compliment yeah you got, uh, you got some pretty nice lungs <laughs> pretty nice yo, lungs those lungs yo do they <laughs> do they breathe much? <laughs> do they sing though? <laughs> do they breathe? What them lungs do? <laughs> yeah. What them lungs do? Do they breathe though? I think that's gonna be it, boys. I think we've uh, I think we've done it. Yeah, we've uh, nearly two hours. Yeah, 
Fucking hell. Oh, wow. Jeez. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. With the power of editing, anything can be anything. I, in a few more days, my fourth part of my free riders review will be up. Let's go! Everyone go check Yo. that out. I will put it in the uh I'll put it in the link. I'll put it in the link. I'll put it in the description for you guys to check out because it is a very comprehensive review from a guy who is willing to do what none of us are willing to do and that is go through three ri- uh, free riders. <laughs> yeah, that is going to do it for uh, episode 4 of Rider Cast. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much to our special guests Cyber and Rearview. Thank you for uh, entertaining us with your stories. We had a great time. No problem. Yeah, it was a fun time. Uh, as usual, leave a like, fucking subscribe to the channel. <laughs> We're getting closer to 10 million. We gained one sub yeah. since the last episode, boys. We're still well, trying to get it by the end of the month. We're on 34 <laughs> subscribers. Yep. If we can just make that last final push, I'm sure we can get there. Also, if you are listening on uh, audio like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, I fucking guess, whatever, because they are available, uh, leave a review. That would be pretty cool. And... uh Leave us a one-star review and tell us that you wish we were dead. Yes. Yay, Poggers. That. Kidding. Leave us a five-star review and wish get... us we were dead. No, 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 no. Because if, no, 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 if they did million. say... If they did do, If they did do a one-star review and say, we wish you were dead, then that means they went through this entire episode. And I would be thankful. Leave a five-star review instead. You can wish we were dead in the, in the comments of it, whatever. But if you get a five-star review, that's way better for us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 10 million by the end of the month or the podcast is over. <laughs> We will do it, yeah. Thank you very much. (laughs) So, yep. All right. Weaving in three, two, one. Later, Nick. (laughs) Thank you very much for watching. Play Sonic R and peace.